This is a short tutorial on how to use styles in LibreOffice Writer 4. Uh, this is another feature that I think uh, very few people actually use, but more people should become familiar with it because it's a very powerful feature and it can be used to save yourself a lot of time. So basically what it is, is every piece of text in LibreOffice can be assigned a style, okay? And what that style means is that it'll be formatted exactly the same way. Right now you can see, and this is kind of the standard whenever you open up a file, unless you customize this, the default style is actually going to be the default style. And in this formatting toolbar, so this is the formatting toolbar, in that formatting toolbar it always is going to show you what, what style is applied to a piece of text. Okay, So this is by default just the default text. But you'll see that it has a number of additional styles that you can actually choose. And you can apply any one of these styles to whatever selected text you have. Well, why would this matter? Let's say that you're doing a rather large document, 20 page document, and it includes something like quotes, quotations, right? Often quotes need to be formatted differently. Um, so let's say that this is actually my quote. This is gonna be my quote here. I want to actually apply a new style to that and if I use my styles instead of just formatting it um, by doing specific uh, modifications then whatever changes I make to this quote I can actually make to any quote in here okay so let's say that this piece of text is going to be a quote and this piece of text right here is also going to be a quote okay so those are both going to be my quotes now watch what happens when I do this. So I'm actually gonna assign a style to this, okay? This is gonna be quotes. And to do that, you'll see right here, it doesn't, no, it does have quotations. So there's a quotation, okay? Look at how it modified it already. It moved in my boundaries, right? So the borders have actually shifted. So we can see that it's moved in automatically. But let's say that I also want to make any quotes in my document italicized. So how would I do this? You can actually customize the styles however you want them to be. You can either hit more here or simply F11. F11 is the styles and formatting window, right? So I'm just hitting F11 to bring that up. And then if you wanna customize a style, just simply go to that style, right click it and hit modify. You'll then get this option for completely customizing everything that you want. So you'll see right here, it's already got before text and after text, those are customized. But if I wanna make it italicized, so all I would have to do is go to the font tab and hit italic, and then once I hit apply, so here's that quote down here, watch what happens, okay? So it's automatically applied to that. Now, the nice thing about this, so I'm done, that's how I want all of my quotations to look. I can close this window then once I've got my style set up how I want it, watch what I can do. I go down to this next piece of text that I also want to be um, formatted as a quotation, and rather than having to adjust the borders specifically and then apply an italics to this, all I have to do is say, make that a quotation too, and it does it exactly how I want it. And if I wanted to make any changes to this, right? So let's pull up so you can see both of them at the same time. Let's say that I wanted to slightly modify everything that is formatted as a quotation. So if I wanted to modify them all at once, and this is the real power of styles, watch what happens. I say modify, let's say that I wanna change the font to 14, I wanna make them bold and italic, and I wanna change this to 0.5, okay? So, oops, I missed that. I'm gonna change that to 0.5 and this to 0.5. So I've now got this applied. Oh, sorry, I've, I've changed everything that I want. All I have to do is apply it once and I don't have to change both paragraphs separately. I just do it once. Now we go back out and check this out. And what you can see is it applied to both paragraphs simultaneously because both of them are quotation style. Uh, likewise, if I wanted to change this text from default, right, or change the default style, watch what happens when I change this to what would be more common for actually formatting a document, say that you're gonna submit for a class. 
I can go to my default style, right? Uh, let's see. And modify that. And in this one, I'm going to change it to double spacing. Um, the first line I want to actually be indented. And that would be kind of more standard. And once I hit apply, watch what happens to my entire document. Everything is now double spaced with indents already in place. So I actually don't have to do that individually. So the power of styles is actually doing this. You can actually do additional powerful features. So let's say that I want a couple of different titles. So our headings, let's call them headings. So let's say that I've got heading one, um, and it doesn't really matter what this is, but there's a style for all of the headings that are heading one, and I can simply apply that. And again, I can customize this. I would do that here, right? So I'd go to heading one and modify that. Let's say that I don't want it to be 16.1. Um, instead, I want it to be just 12, right? So you can customize that however you want, and it's changed here. Now, if I add a second heading right here, so this is heading two, which we'll call it heading 1A, um, so it's the same style. We apply that heading to it, and it's going to be formatted exactly the same as this. And you can actually have multiple levels of headings, as you can see over here. You can have headings 1, 2, 3, 4, or so on, all the way down. But the nice thing about styles is once you've created them, you can apply them to any piece of text, and it automatically makes it whatever style you want it to be. So it's a very powerful feature, very useful feature inside LibreOffice.